Hi, I'm Jeff McMahon. I'm an associate professor at the University of Michigan and on Simon's Observatory I've played various roles but um, one of the main ones I've done is being the uh, chair of the technical committee which is a group that helped organize the design process uh, of the whole instrument. I've been down here at UC San Diego for a meeting to review the small aperture telescopes and the, specifically the integration um, and testing plan for them. Um, and what's been really cool about that is that we've gone through and seen all the design work that's happened over the last few years. And we're now at a point where we're thinking about how the whole system comes together. And it was just great to see all the work that's gone on, all the planning that's happened, and then to coordinate about how we're gonna bring this whole instrument together and, and make sure that everything happens on schedule so that we can get to the field and start doing science. Is that when you look, about, look at putting a project of this scale together, you quickly realize that there's a lot of work to be done and that the whole project's success depends on everyone bringing their piece together at the right time. And you know, a meeting like this helped bring to light you know, where, which, which parts are on schedule, which are easy, which are hard, but the bottom line is there's just a lot of work to be done, um, including you know, in, in all the groups that make up Simon's Observatory. And it's going to be an exciting year, but it's going to be a lot of work. Yeah, so my lab does a number of things. Um, that includes um, making the optics. So we're making this huge elaborate machine that um, will cut these sub-wavelength features. So you know, basically, it's a dicing saw. So you're taking silicon dicing precision technology and applying it to cutting lenses that are this big and making these anti-reflection coatings that amount to um, kilometers worth of these sub-wavelength features. So we're building this whole elaborate facility to produce all the lenses we need for Simon's Observatory, which is a huge undertaking. Um, we're, uh, Sarah is making all the feed horns arrays for the horn couple detectors. Um, Katie, uh, another postdoc in our group, is working on building a, a small aperture telescope, which we're adapting to test the large aperture telescope receivers. And then a number of my students are, are starting to ramp up on figuring out how to actually test it and to build the infrastructure that we need so that we can actually make all the, all the measurements to make sure that the receivers are ready to go to the field. With Simon's Observatory, we, sh we will be able to make maps that are deeper than anyone's ever made before. And with them, um, we'll be able to gain a better understanding of cosmology um, and also hunt for new surprises. I, I think what I'm excited about most is just the amount of progress we're going to make. And you know, you always, you know, it's always fun to think about making a revolutionary discovery. Um, and you know, there's potential that that could happen. But but the thing that's guaranteed to happen is we're just going to make progress, and we'll have the best understanding of cosmology, and we'll help contribute that to humanity. And I think that's that's the thing that'll be, I just know will happen, and I'm really excited about.